Hey guys, it's Stevie P. Um, so, I gotta admit, daily vlogs are hard if all you're doing is sleeping and working. Or editing. Or not editing, as my vlogs may be. So, I got up, chatted with my parents, and um, started talking about, you know, some of the work stuff. My mom, or my dad's a pastor, and my mom is a pastor's wife. So they, their life is basically dedicated to helping people. That is what they do. They are good at it. They are very patient. And they've been through a lot. So they have a lot of unique experience to draw from. So they're always busy. I'm going to... I'm going to throw this out there. Uh, if you want to help people uh, for a living, um, <laughs> the money is not huge, but the rewards are great. Um, yeah, don't do it for the money. You do it because it's a calling. And um, my dad and mom are not always Christians. My dad came from a fun background. And because of his experience in the fun life before, um, he, they, we've always dealt with society's funner people, uh, be it the untouchables, the people that nobody wants to associate with, people with just the uh, weirdest problems ever, drugs or alcohol or you know prostitution or. I mean, all the hurt that comes out of that lifestyle. So for many years, that's kind of what I grew up with um, around me. And it was... We were just talking about this with my mom and dad. It was a great buffer because it, it let me see from within the protection of their bubble. But up close, right? Because we ran an outreach center when I was young. All the bad stuff that happens when you don't keep your life in check, when you aren't raised right, when that love isn't there from home, uh, from your mom, from your dad, from when there's a lot of hurt growing up, the, the problems, the seemingly little issues start as and become is, is unbelievable. You know, it can be it can be a harsh word spoken by a parent that'll turn that child off and that's it. You have blown that you have blown that confidence from that kid. And that's it. It can be a 90 degree turn, it can be a 180 degree turn. If you don't show that love to your kids in a loving way gotta be a pure love. It can't be a conditional love. I love you if you do this for me. It's not love. It's abuse. Right? Now, don't get me wrong. I, I get things done around my house because my kids do things to please me. Um, that's different than... <laughs> not treating them right if it's not done. We're only showing love or affection if they're perfect. And you know what? Your kids are never going to be perfect. And you're never going to be perfect. So stop expecting that of your kids. They're kids. My kids frustrate the snot out of me sometimes. As angry as they can make me, it is important for me to remember that my three girls, how I treat my three girls is going to determine to a huge extent where their life takes them, how they're going to deal with problems, how they're going to deal with situations, how they're going to deal with boys, how they're going to deal with rejection. Right? I don't want my girls going and running off with some dude because he says he loves them. Because he shows that he loves them for real or for not. Right? Because people can confuse love with lust. And with three daughters, man, that is terrifying. I don't want lots of 
lots of people loving my daughters. I want that one perfect guy. And I know that's asking a lot. But it happens. I don't want them to have to go through all the garbage that so many people go through. And I'm not saying they're not gonna, they're gonna get their heart broken, guaranteed. But it's up to me to make sure those, the chances of that happening are so much lower. They've got to make their own decisions, I get that. They do. But I don't want my girls to have to, you know, 10 years, 12 years, 15 years down the road. I don't want them to be in another city talking to somebody like my mom and dad in an outreach center because of all the stuff that went wrong. So I, I'm protective of them. But you don't want to be overbearing, right? It, it's a fine, it's a fine line, and it's it's a it's an insane balance. Love them, protect them, but let them learn on their own. Let them teach them to to respect themselves enough to not get pushed around. My girls don't really get pushed around, which is nice. That that makes me happy. You know, no nobody's. Especially Brooke, man. You're not going to make Brooke do anything she doesn't want to do. She'll fight you tooth and nail on it. And that's going to be frustrating for me now. But it's going to save her bacon later. She's not going to get bullied into stuff. And that's awesome. So guys, just love your kids. Respond to them in love and not anger. Because so many of the problems that, that we that we experience as adolescents and as, adu as ad adults, <laughs> ad adults, it's funny, as adults, stem from how things are dealt with when we're a child. Because you think as a child when you're a child. Your logic is childish when you're a child. So, correct in a loving sort of way. I'm not saying don't spank or anything like that. Um, your kids touch and fire, and they, they need to be spanked, right? I mean, they're going to learn one way or another that things are hurtful, that things are painful, right? So if it's legal where you are and you believe in that, then, then that's fine. That's different. But make sure it's done out of love and out of correction, not out of anger, because kids know that. If I spank my kid, it's never any harder than when I'm beating on them when we're playing. I spank their bums all the time when we're having fun. It's the funniest thing because it's never very hard, right? But the tone of my voice will determine whether or not it's punishment or whether it's uh, we're having fun. And it's funny, you know, people get bent out of shape about that. You play hockey, you play soccer, you play football, you get pulverized way harder than you ever get spanked, right, so that's another situation, we're not going to go there, 